we lost a few numbers this week. Obviously, done a few injuries, like you said, and um, a few boys come back to the clubs. But um, you know, I still think there's plenty of numbers here in the squad, plenty of experience, and um, plenty of quality. So, you know, we're cracking on this week just like any other week, and looking forward to taking the South Africans on. So, uh, what's the, the scale of the task ahead of you then? Um, well, we all know what South Africa bring. You know, they're very, very big and physical. Um, I think it's going to be a more physical test than the All Blacks. So, um, you know, we've had a tough session this morning. You know, getting ready for that. So. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. You know, I think it's a, a game that we, we need to win. You know, there's a bit of pressure on us now. So um, I think if we beat South Africa on Saturday, I think it's the it'll be the third time we beat them in a row. I don't think any other Welsh team has done that. So um, that's in, in the back of our minds, and that's the target. They're looking a bit better than last autumn, though, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think they've improved a lot. You know, in the last twelve months. They've had some big, big victories in the last couple of months, so you know it's going to be a very tough game. Like I said, but you know I think um, we, we've got, we've got plenty of quality in the way we're starting to show that we're playing. I think we're um, good enough to beat them. You talk about pressure on the squad for a result. Is that coming from internally or externally? Do you think? Um, I, I think it's just um, internally more than anything. I think you know we've beaten Georgia. Um, and obviously lost against the All Blacks in Australia, so I think you know it'd be nice to get a, a good win against South Africa. To, you know, hopefully try and finish on a positive, and obviously we go back to our clubs then, and then back in in a couple of weeks' time for the Six Nations. What have you uh, looked at so far in terms of uh, South African video then? Uh, like I said, really, we all know how physical they are, and um, you know they've got some great individuals. So um, you know it's going to be a tough game, but uh, you know I think we're just going to concentrate on our own game like we've been doing the last couple of weeks, and you know. Keep um, keep playing, you know, some uh, good rugby like we're trying to produce, and you know, hopefully we can do that on Saturday. Not quite so many household names outside the scrum compared to up front, maybe. No, possibly not. But you know, we're not, not going to look too much into that. You know, we, like I said, just we'll concentrate on our own game and um, on ourselves, and hopefully get that right, and hopefully that will bring us the victory. You played most of last week. Do you have to train this week with the assumption that <coughs> you could could be starting? Uh, I'm not sure yet. To be honest, you know. Um, I think Webby's going to be back. I think he's, I think he passed all the tests and all, and all that. So I'm sure he'll be um, available for selection. But um, yeah, you know, I'm going to train this week and hopefully um, get a bit of game time in the weekend. Presumably, you have to train as if you were going to start, though, just in case anything went wrong at the last minute with him. Yeah, I train like that anyway, to be honest. So yeah. And uh, a bit more pressure on your Scarlet's place as well with uh, promising youngster uh, coming back at the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was great to see Philzy back in the mix. You know, um, he's had a few months off on holiday or whatever in Dubai, but um, I think his tan was looking great and he looked good on the pitch. So um, I thought he played well as well. To be fair to him, so you know he's obviously still got it. And um, I think Johnny has just picked up a bit of an injury as well. So I'm sure he'll be playing um, a bit more than what maybe he expected. But you know, I'm sure he'll be fine. Looking forward to seeing him, seeing him back at Parker Scarlets then when uh, when everyone gets back there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how long he's with us for, but um, yeah, you know, it'd be great to get him back in the in the environment with us. You know, he's a great character and a great player, so you know, hopefully we can keep on to him as a bit of cover as well. So it'd be good for us, then, yeah. Gareth must be quite pleased with your performances in the game. How bad so far? Yeah, it's gone alright. You know, um, didn't really expect to go on so early on the weekend, obviously, but uh, where we obviously took um, a bit of a knock to the head, so. Um, yeah, I think I played seventy odd minutes or whatever. Tough old game, very physical, very fast. You know, I was blowing towards the end, and obviously I knew I wasn't coming off. So, um, yeah, but it's gone right there. Did you feel after half time? Twelve, eleven, something like that. We had sixty-five, seventy percent of the ball in that first half. Everyone was talking about how long it's been since we've been seeing. Did you in that dressing room half time with a sense that it's really good to be quite? Yeah, you know, we spoke about, you know, that we didn't didn't really feel um, pressurised out there, you know, in defence, and we thought we were, we held on to the ball quite well in attack as well. You know, um, we thought you know they were nothing special, you know, but um, unfortunately they produced a bit of magic in the second half. You know, scored off um, a couple of starter plays that you know we had a big onus on in the week of not conceding any first phase tries, but unfortunately they. Um, you know, they scored a, a great try off that left hand scrum, which was tough to defend. You know, I'm sure if we could defend that again, we would have defended it slightly differently and.
probably would have um, stopped them from scoring there and you know it could have been a different game but you know I think that's why they're one of the best teams in the world you know they're so clinical and uh, you know they grind out these um, these wins and the way Wales are looking to play talked about a lot of it, keeping the ball in hand how are you sort of into that. How are you feeling? Do you see there's a similarity with the way the Scarlets are playing? Yeah, you know, it's a lot. Um, yeah, holding on to the ball, you know, and playing, playing into the wide channels, you know, going from one wide channel to the other. It's, it's quite a tough ask for a nine, obviously, because doing a lot of the running. Um, it's always nice when you know, you've got, you got your wingers or your outside backs making a few breaks then where you can you know, run these positive support lines. But um, unfortunately, you know, the New Zealand defence was. You know, it was very good in the weekend, and we struggled really to get any outside breaks. So, um, but I uh, know I think it's a it's a positive play of positive side of rugby, and um, yeah, it is like you said, quite similar to the way the Scarlets play. So, you know, I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, he's a quality player. You know, in attack and defence, he's a. You know, um, yeah. You know, I think I think he's available for selection this week. I'm not quite sure, but um, you know, if he does get the opportunity, um, I'm sure he'll take it with both hands. And um, yeah, like I said, in attack and defence, he's so, you know solid. You know, so looking forward to hopefully um, playing with him. We all doing English. Thank you. We doing Welsh and Cameron.